This is K0ABK. Welcome to the Colorado Amateur Radio Emergency Services Region 3 District 2 Net. Our district consists of Lerner and Weld counties. This MetNet meets each, meet each Thursday evening on the 447.275 repeater, courtesy of the Northern Colorado Amateur Radio Club. All stations with 70 centimeter privileges are invited to check in. Announcements about all amateur related activities, including club events and meetings, are welcome. This is a direct to net, and all traffic will go through net control. This is K0BK. My name is Alec, and I am located in Greeley. I will be your net control for this session of the net. Is there any emergency or priority traffic before we get begin? Is there any formal NTS traffic for the net? When checking into the net, please give your call using standard ITU phonetics, followed by your name and then your location. Stations with traffic for the net should in indicate so during their check-in. I will now take check-ins from stations using battery or emergency power by suffixes. Stations using battery or emergency power with call suffixes Alpha through Mike. Please call now. This is Whiskey Bravo Zero Mike Hotel. Mike in Loveland. Kilo One Delta Charlie Yankee, Derek and Firestone. This is November Zero, November Yankee, Yankee, Bart via Echo Link, Medford, Wisconsin. Good evening. Let's hold that there for a second. Uh, the net would like to recognize W0MH, Mike, uh, N0NYY. Bart, and there was a double with Bart. Can that station please come back? Kilo One, Delta, Charlie, Yankee, Derek, and Firestone. No traffic. Thank you. I will now continue with check-ins. Uh, stations using battery or emergency power. Alpha through Mike. Good evening, Alex. Kilo 8, Golf Echo Echo, Jerry in Fort Collins. No traffic. Kilo Echo 0, Lima, Charlie, Kilo, another mic from Windsor. No traffic. In severance. November 7. Golf, Echo, Sierra, Kevin in Fort Collins with uh, one announcement. Kilo 5, Bravo, Bravo, Charlie, Phil, Echo Link, mobile down by uh, Monument right now. Kilo Zero, Lima Alpha Oscar, no traffic. Okay, the net would like to recognize. Okay, the net would like to recognize. Uh, K 
K8GEEKC0LCKN7GES K5BBC and K0LAO I will now take check-ins, uh, stations using battery emergency power, Alpha through Zulu. This is Kilo, Charlie, Zero, Zulu, India, Echo, Darren, in Fort Collins. Uh, Ned would like to recognize KC0 ZIE. Uh, there was a devil in there. If the other station come back, please. Kilo Zero Uniform Tango, Bill Port Collins. Any other stations, emergency power, power, Alpha Zulu, please call now. Kilo Delta Zero, Yankee Victor India, Greg in Loveland. Echo Zero, Papa India Juliet, Mark, Mobile, uh, Four Collins. W Zero, TJH, Whiskey Zero, Tango Juliet Hotel. This is TJ and Bertha. Kilo, Echo, Zero, Papa, Tango, Echo. This is Mike and Fort Collins. Let's hold up right there for a second. Uh, Net would like to recognize K zero Z I E. K K zero U T. K zero Y V I. K zero P T E W zero T J H and K E zero P I J. Any corrections? This is k 0 with the Aries Region 3 District 2 net. I will now take check-ins from all the stations, commercial through battery power, alpha through mic. Good evening, here is Kilo Zero, Juliet, Echo, Foxtrot, Jeff, uh, <clears throat> Fort Collins, and can you tell me whether or not KD0 UJK has checked in yet this evening? Stand 
standby. Negative on his check-in. Okay, thank you. In that case, I definitely have traffic. The net would like to acknowledge KE0 or K0JES uh, with traffic. Any other check ins, stations? I'll assume Mike, all power. This is Whiskey Bravo Zero India X ray Victor. WB zero IXV Dave S Park Med Center. This is Kilo Echo Zero, Kilo Bravo Sierra, Dean and Evan. Then that would like to recognize KE0KBS, WB0IXV, any other check ins, please. I will now take check-ins from stations using battery or uh, commercial power, Alpha through Zulu. Oh, good evening. This is Whiskey Alpha 5, Victor, Romeo, Lima, Willis, and Fort Collins. This is Kilo 6, Oscar Gall, K6OG, David, Estes Park Bed Center. This is Kilo Delta Zero, Oscar Echo Papa, Mike, Estes Park Med Center. Good evening, Alec. This is Kilo Delta Zero, Zulu Whiskey Uniform, KD Zero ZWU, Terry in Berthoud. This is Kilo Delta Zero, Romeo. India, Lima, Bob, in Estes Park Medical Center. Okay, let's hold up for a second. Uh, now we would like to recognize Bravo, KD Zero RIL, KD Zero ZWU, KD Zero. O-E. K-6, O-G. Any other check-ins? There was a station that, dou a station that doubled with me. Uh, can you please come back? I believe that's me. This is Kilo Delta Zero, Whiskey Bravo Charlie, Pete in Fort Collins. Good evening. The 
and that would like to recognize KD Zero WBC. Are there any other check ins at this point? Hearing none, this is K0BK with the Aries Region 3 District 2 net. We will now move on to net business. Uh, we have announcements from N7GES. Kevin, uh, go ahead with your announcement. Thank you. I uh, just want to remind everybody... The uh, net next week will be a remote net at the PFA Fire Station number 8 in Timnath. Uh, those of you who have never seen a net uh, run before, I'd encourage you to please come and uh, see how it is run. Uh, also, perhaps get some practical experience. Uh, with that, so we'd invite all of you to uh, come. We should be open about 6.30 uh, and ready to get set up and, and uh, all ready to go. Again, that is Pooter Fire Station number 8 in Timnath. Thank you. N7GES. KC0ZIE with an additional comment. ZAE, go ahead. Thank you. And for those of you that don't know where uh, Pooter Fire Station number 8 is, I have posted the address and a link to a Google Map location on the Colorado Aries R3D2.org website. So you can uh, click on that there and get all the information. Back to net, KC0ZAE. Are there any more questions for Kevin or uh, Darren at this point? I have a quick question for Kevin. KC0, QOK, Kilo, Charlie, Zero, Quebec, Oscar, Kilo, Ames, Marty. Ahead, Marty. Uh, Marty, go ahead. I just had the thought. Um, are you going to pass the mic around a little bit for that remote net? Uh, maybe get two or three other people operating to uh, kind of do a little training at the same time? Or have you guys talked about that? Now, that was our intent, yes. Oh, that would be great to get some people that are a little bit shy and not quite ready to do net control. Okay, great. Well, hopefully you get a good crowd. KC0, QOK, back to net. Okay, so we have an announcement from W0DDZ. Uh, go ahead with your announcement. Alec, I just wanted to say thank you for taking the net tonight. Uh, it's nice to have uh, you do that. And I'd like to talk a little bit about the net control station and about being net control. Our Aries district operates in emergency situations by establishing nets, whether for Skyrorn or any other emergency situations, nets are how we operate. Our district holds this net every Thursday for us to 
to learn emergency communication skills and practice those skills. Net control is one of those skills, and it's a very important skill. Uh, net control station's uh, purpose is to organize and streamline the communication so we can be as effective as possible when we need to communicate. Without net control stations, effective communication would be impossible. For uh, the regulars on this repeater, think of how often you hear the term, that was a double, on a day-to-day -day basis. In emergency situations, we, uh, it's extremely important that we communicate as effectively as we can. Net control tracks the participants, and we do this for a reason. One example is Skywarn. Net control will keep the track of participants watching the storm in their locations in case a storm takes a turn and puts one of those operators in harm's way. We want to be able to communicate the storm's location and how uh, and get our operators to safety. This is a great place to practice those skills, and the reason that net control operator <clears throat> will at all times uh, uh, will at time call for checkouts if. Uh, Skywarn storm watcher doesn't check out of a net, uh, then we may dispatch somebody to help find that wa uh, storm watcher. Net control also needs to, at times, manage and prioritize message and messages and resources. Nets like this give amateur operators the opportunity to establish and learn and practice systems that effectively accomplish the goals of the net. Net control is indeed a very important link in the chain of any effective ARIES district, and every amateur radio operator should get the opportunity to try. We want to give you the tools and opportunities to learn these skills, so if you're interested in net control, please let us know how we can help. Our ARIES district is having the remote net on February 22nd, where you can see net control uh, firsthand and get a chance to practice those skills and, and get advice from operators that are very experienced. There are many skilled net control operators and they're really happy to give you uh, advice and, and help. Uh, Alec has done this net tonight and he's doing it here with me so that he can get the uh, practice doing it. And I encourage any of you to reach out to uh, myself or Kevin. We'd love to help you get on the net. I'd like to thank each station for their participation in tonight's net and Alec for taking the net. Back to net control. And why, why, why the comment? And why, why, go ahead. Very well put, Dave, and thank you for that. And I would like to add from uh, history long ago that uh, from my own personal experience, it, sometimes it doesn't sound like net control is a big deal. But I encourage each and every one of you that have not tried it to sit down and try it and find out that when all these things are coming at you and you're kind of trying to keep track, you develop certain skills and techniques that help you do it. The first time you do it, it can be very confusing. It can take a lot of practice. The problem is if you don't do it and you don't practice and you don't get good at it, then when somebody really needs you to do it and you're the only one available, now you have to get on the learning curve when it really counts. So my strong recommendation is get on that learning curve, try it, figure it out, develop your own techniques before someone's safety depends on it. Thank you, N0NYY. Thank you, Dave. Thank you, Zero, UJK with check-in and an announcement. Uh, thanks for that, Bart. Uh, we will now move on to K0JEF with an announcement. Uh, I believe we had K0UJK in there, and he has probably the announcement I was going to make. So go ahead and take his check-in, please, and then his traffic. Yeah, I was going to bring up the announcement again about the uh, Skywarn training and the Aries meeting afterwards. 
on uh, March 24th, starting at 8.30 in the morning at the Police Services Building on Timberline at 2221 Timberline in Fort Collins. Any questions for Steve at this time? LCK, KE0, KBF. LCK, go ahead. This is KE0, LCK. Uh, yeah, Steve, have you and Jim decided when you're going to do that work on the trailer this weekend? Yeah, not yet. I haven't got all the parts in yet. I'm hoping that they'll show up tomorrow. I got a few things, but I don't have everything. Uh, I'm hoping to know by tomorrow afternoon if we're going to work on it or not. Yeah, if you can let me know, uh, I might be able to help you out there, give you an extra hand. This case is your LCK. Back to that. Uh, K0 KBS, you had a uh, comment? Uh, K0 KBS, uh, I was just wondering if uh, Steve could give me the date and time one more time for the Skywarn training. Yeah, this is uh, K0 UJK. It's on March 24th at 8.30 in the morning. It, and it's at the Police Services Building on Timberline at 2221 Timberline. I believe it's South Timberline. Okay, thank you very much. Uh, back to net. Thank you for that. And k 0 JEF, was that all for announcements? Nope, thank you, though. Uh, there's a couple of things. That, that was one that I was going to make if Steve didn't make the net, so thank you, Steve, for taking care of that. Um, I did want to add to that. If you guys uh, listening, uh, we want to do so, um, some stuff about go bags because th there have been several times that we've ended up having to deploy uh, to locations uh, that we were dependent upon equipment that we just had to bring with us and we weren't able to get resupplied. Uh, so I, I wanted to, to kind of stress go bags, and I was hoping that yeah, I know it's going to be a lot of gear in one room, but I was hoping to be able to get everyone that has one to bring their go bag to that meeting on the 24th. So after the Skywarn training is done and after lunch and everybody's sleepy, we can actually get up and move around and take a look at go bags and such so that folks can get an idea of what goes in a go bag. I'll reset this. So on our website, we do have kind of the standard contents of a go bag. And you can put that in anything you'd like. It can be a duffel bag. Uh, it could be a suitcase. It could be, um, I don't know, a, a backpack. Uh, whatever you would like to contain your go bag in uh, or your equipment in your go bag. In, in, you know, you just make it yours and, uh, <clears throat> and make it adaptable to what you would think you'd end up doing in the field or how you'd want to carry it or organize your equipment. So I thought it might be nice to see other people's ideas for go bags, what they carry their stuff in, what stuff they carry with them, um, how they manage things like uh, a set of contact lenses. I'm a contact lens wearer, and my lenses aren't supposed to be in my eyes for more than uh, like 18 hours a day. Um, some of my days in the Aries have been 33, 34 hours long. <clears throat> So do you, do you bring contact solutions? Do you bring a pair of glasses and change out those contacts? And if so, do you have a case and solutions and those sorts of things with you? Um, 
just people's equipment ideas are, are a great thing to share uh, as a learning tool between us so that together, you know, we can adopt good ideas and get better at what we do. I do want to add that all the information about this uh, training and meeting can be found on the uh, ARIES website, www.coloradoariesr3d2.org. So all of that uh, information that we gave out for the location, the times, etc., is all found right there on the website. Um, it's, it's not updated terribly often, but when we do have good things coming up, that generally goes right up onto the website right away. Uh, so keep checking back with the website for information. Last thing I'll say that uh, we are putting together an exercise um, that will be happening probably not even next month due to the meeting. Um, but probably the month after, um, that is going to involve the possibility for deployment. And it might be a good idea to have a bag handy to go, <laughs> just so you can, you know, take your bag and show up with all your gear, et cetera, et cetera, for the exercise. Um, we're putting together, <coughs> it's, uh, well, it's going to be interesting. And it's going to take longer than um, just the Thursday night net time that we did the last time. So this one's going to end up having to be on a weekend uh, so that we can have uh, more time to, to, ex to exercise um, during, the, during that period. There's going to be more things going on. So uh, and hopefully the same number of served agencies, if not more, uh, involved with it. I'll reset. So, uh, in the meantime, if you have go bags, keep them topped off with fresh water and snacks and that sort of thing, and uh, keep your batteries charged. We could be deployed for most any of these severe weather conditions, whether they be snowstorms or what have you, um, at any time. So, uh, stay tuned, and we'll be back with more uh, as the information becomes available. So thank you to everyone who checked in this evening, and thank you for taking in that this evening and for that little bit of uh, background information there from, uh, from Dave. And I uh, hope you all have a good evening. 7-3, this is K0JEF. Back to that. And thank you for that. Uh, this is K0ABK with the Region 3, District 2 net. Are there any questions for Jeff? Hearing none, are Sorry, that control is K0J. Yep, I think I doubled with you. Sorry about that. Go ahead, Jeff. That's okay. I believe that was my fault because I said back to net and then I changed my mind. <laughs> hey, uh, K6OG. Uh, K0JEF, would you please give me a call after net? Uh, roger that, K6OG. K0JEF, back to net, really truly this time. Thank you. Are there any questions for Jeff at this point? Hearing none, is there any missed business or comments for the net tonight? Go ahead, Mike. Thank you. Just a quick uh, comment to Terry, KD0ZWU. Terry, would you give me a uh, phone call uh, after net, please? And if you don't have my number, I'll give it to you. Uh, 
uh, KD0ZW to WB0MH. Uh, I do not have your number. If you could provide that, please. Uh, KD zero ZWU copies. Roger that, and thank you. Back to net. This is K zero ABK with the Aries Region Three District Two net. Do we have any late check-ins? All stations, all suffixes, all powers, please call now. Is there any late or mid business for the net? Hearing none, I would like to each to thank each station for checking in and uh, NCARC for the use of the repeater this evening. All stations with appropriate privileges are invited to participate in the following nets. The statewide ARES HF net on Sunday mornings at 8 a.m. on a frequency of 3.810. The statewide Airy VHF net on Sunday evenings at 8 p.m. on the 145.310 repeater using a tone of 88.5 hertz. Tonight we had a total of 26 check-ins and the net ran approximately 38 minutes. And we had four announcements. This net will meet again next Thursday at 7 p.m. local time. 73s and good evening. The repeater is now open for normal use. This is K0BK. The repeater is free.